Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm Josh. And I'm Jenna. And we have a lot of updates and adventures going on today, and we're gonna be building a raised bed. We tore down our pool, and we're starting to put in some raised garden beds. We have lots of new updates to inform everyone about of what's going on. Um, like Josh said, we took down the pool. Um, Josh had a lot of fun doing that. He let his inner child come out, and I just was like, okay, you do you, dude. Have fun. All right, guys. So like many of you, we don't have endless funds for all of our projects. So we are using used cinder blocks. I went on Facebook Marketplace and I found used cinder blocks for 60 cents a block. I had to drive about 45 minutes to get them, but they're about $2.50 new at Lowe's Home Depot. So I got 100 blocks for 60 bucks. So I'm going to be able to do most of my project for about $60. If I were to use lumber, it would cost way, way, way more than that. So like many people in today's day and age, you gotta cut corners in some areas. So buying used material is how we're doing that. We'll paint the blocks to make them look nicer than they are, try to chip off any of the concrete, but this is what our raised bed is gonna be made out of. Thanks for your help, Willow. Hey. There's blocks in this one under here. Sissy, are you trying to ride brother's four-wheeler? <laughs> So now you're adding on to that end too, right? Yeah. I didn't take it out quite far enough. All right, sis, let's go in the backyard and take care of the animals. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and let the chickens out. They are ready. Run for you chickens. Let's go ahead and check their water and their food. So we've had chickens, I'd say like two and a half years. We originally were feeding them pellets, but then I don't know why I wanted to feed them crumble. So we fed them crumble probably for like the last year. And I just noticed how much food waste that they were having. So I went ahead and switched them back to the pellets again because it was just, the food waste was getting just obnoxious. Oh, they think I have treats for them. I don't have anything for you right now. You have to be patient. The pellets are already lasting so much longer than the crumble and they're not getting it all over the ground and then just stomping it into the mud. So they're actually eating it. Another update is my rooster really ticked me off. So he has been such a sweetheart. He's such an amazing rooster. He's so kind to the girls and he um, will sit there and he will break up like hen fights, which I've seen that happen two times. Um, and then he also will find food and then call all the ladies over to eat it. But on Saturday, so that was a few days ago, he spurred my dog. So then the next day he spurred me twice. And I'm like, he has never once been aggressive with us. So I picked him up for the past few days. So I'm going to do it again because this is his only chance. Um, we have another rooster that is one of our chicks. Um, they're teenage chickens now, so I guess that's what pullets. We have another rooster that is being raised up. So, as much as I really, really, really like him and want to keep him, I cannot afford to have a mean rooster. I don't want those type of genes to be going on to the chicks when I decide to incubate them. So, I have small children, so I just cannot allow him to be spurring people. So, I'm going to be picking him up and if he spurs someone again then he may have to go to freezer camp we are not going to sit here and allow mean animals and some people are going to have an issue with that but part of homesteading is deciding what works for you and your family and we will be eating some of our chickens like that is just how it is um they are my pets i love them they're so great um but if we have a mean rooster that does not rehabilitate after doing all the measures that I can possibly do, I'm not gonna sit there and rehome it. I can either feed it to my family and repurpose it or feed it to our pigs when we get them. So I'm sorry if that ruffles your feathers and offends you, but um, that's just the, what we, Josh and I have decided um, that we're going to do on our homestead. Now what you do on your homestead is awesome and works for you and that's fantastic. But for us, um, as our laying hens get older, we probably are going to be, we're not gonna probably eat them, we, but we will be 
repurposing them um, with our other animals. So that is just how we've decided to run our homestead. Okay, that was actually pretty easy. Okay, that was actually much easier than I thought to catch him today. The first few times was much harder. I just put some food on the ground and they ran over. So while he was eating, I just picked them up. So let's see how long I can carry them for. I've heard that this helps and I'm going to try things before we just give up on him because he is one beautiful chicken. I really, really like him. He's my favorite. Just look at his hair. He's so mad right now, but I'm just going to carry him around like a little football for now while I do some of my chores. He's just going to be my buddy. Something else I heard is to hold them to the ground till they submit. So now that I've been carrying them around for a few minutes, I'm going to go ahead and do that too. All right, I don't know if this is gonna work, but we'll see. Just gonna put his, I am not hurting him, just so you know. I am being very gentle. You can just push him down. It's kind of like how roosters mount the hens. You're going to basically be doing it. Just, it's just a dominance thing. Nope. Nope. I am just putting light pressure on him. I am not squishing him. I am not hurting him. He just doesn't like it. It's okay, my buddy. I'm doing this because I really like you and I want to keep you. All right. I can tell that he's getting relaxed now. So I'm going to let him up. Bye. Okay. That went well. I really, really, really like him. So I, like I said, I'm going to do everything I can to help him to learn that he needs to be kind. Now he has not spurred me in the past few days, which is awesome. So I would say it's really working, um, but I'm just going to keep doing it and then see how it goes. Our next announcement is we got bunnies. Here's one of them just hanging out. The other one. He's back there. I'm gonna go ahead and feed them and give them some water. I don't really like, they have bottles right now for their water. I think I might just give them like a container because they seem to drip and I don't want them to run out of water. So I'm gonna switch that out and see how that works. This really nice feeder right here, I opened it and all you do is just drop the, the pellets in and then they eat out of there. So I just need to clean that part out and then put the pellets in. All right, so I went ahead and filled this up and then all the way in the top and the back, a bun. We have not named our bunnies yet. So if you have any ideas of bunny names, um, we have two boys. So just let me know, put it down in the comments below. Okay, so I just put a ceramic dishware in there. Some of the bunny research that I've done, they've said that bunnies can sometimes flip their water bowls. So I just looked for something heavy. They're not gonna be able to tip that over. So, but that's gonna give them a much more reliable water source. I just found that, let me just show you, these things, I have two of them. They have just been emptying within a day and that's just, it's gonna mess up their bedding and it's gonna make it all nasty in there. So I just decided to switch it out. So yeah, sometimes you just have to try to figure out what works best in your setup. Um, and I'm gonna try this out and see if it works. If not, then I tried and I can try something else then. Oh, good job, buddy. Okay, and lastly, I'm gonna give them some carrots and some Timothy's hay. There you go, bunny. Oh, that's so good. They really like carrots. This is really awesome because as you can see, I'm feeding it out of my hand. And when I first got them, they would not do that. All right, carrots and a bunch more hay. I'm gonna go check on my chickies and see how they're doing. Hi, little babies. All right, my sweet little chickies are fed. They have water. I did put some new straw in there. That way then it just kinda, we do the deep litter method with all of our chickens. So I'll end up cleaning out this coop um, as it gets a little bit warmer out. That's gonna be coming up within the next month, probably. Hi. 
All right, so I got some of the garden beds laid out behind me. I ran out of blocks. I'm probably gonna need about 70 more. The place I can get them, I can fit 100 in my truck, so I'm just gonna get 100 more, so I have a couple extras. 60 cents a piece, another 60 bucks, and I'll have three rows of garden beds. I was mowing and bagging up the leaves and the grass and putting them in at the base and then put some dirt on top. Our chickens love the woods. Everyone's dust bathing and just enjoying the shade. Okay, so I just wanted to stop and take a minute to kind of update of what we have planned for the next few months. So it's finally warm outside. Um, I think it's been pretty much in the 60s for the last week. So spring is here. So this is the time of year that we get really busy. We have to be home to do a lot more chores than we do in the wintertime, uh, especially with the just sheer amount of animals that we get this time of year. So the next few months are us preparing for the animals that we're gonna be getting. So if you saw our other video, we were gonna go get pigs a couple weeks ago, but that ended up falling through because our truck broke down. So Josh got a new truck so that we don't have this problem anymore. So since Josh got a new truck, it, we had to put a pause on getting pigs but that was such a blessing. I mean, not having to get a new truck, but, um, well, we can haul more now, which is a blessing. But um, I actually found piglets that are much cheaper. We were gonna pay $130 for them, but now we're paying 85. Um, so that's gonna be really exciting because we got a huge price drop on it. Um, and then, excuse me, why are you pecking me? So to kind of get into what we're doing right now, um, we obviously have our older egg laying chickens. We currently have 25 of them and that's including our rooster. And then we have 12 chicks. Um, I honestly don't remember how old they are at this point, um, but they're getting bigger. So I would like to build them something that's a little bit more permanent um, and also on the ground. They're not super tiny anymore. Um, so a brooder isn't super working. I wanna build something maybe right here. Um, but we also are planning on extending our, our run so that whenever we don't want to be free ranging our chickens, then we can keep them in and I'm not gonna feel bad when we have like 50 chickens. So, cause we're just gonna keep growing our flock because you have to factor in chicken math. And I did not realize how bad my chicken math was this year. Um, we have the room, especially if we're free ranging them. But if there's times where I don't want them to be free ranging, um, then I need to have a bigger run. So we have definitely enough coop space. We have so much coop space. All we have to do is just add a couple more roosting bars and we have so much room to do that. And then they're fine. But like I was saying, we want to add on to this and then I plan on adding um, some sort of chick grow out section. Um, that way then they have like their own little coop and their own run next to the big girls so that they can start getting used to each other before I integrate them. And I think it's gonna make integration so much easier. Also, now that we are diving into rabbits, um, I would like to convert part of my patio into as I call a bunny o <laughs> and see how that works out. I would like to make it into a bunny o so I can have more bunnies. Um, I would like to breed them and see what happens, um, but we shall see. Right now I have those two males and we shall see what happens in the future. We also have coop clean out coming up um, where I'm gonna take all the straw out of all three of our coops and I'm gonna just probably throw it in their run, honestly. Um, we do the deep litter method. I'll either do that or what we've done every single other time is throw it in our woods and then it disintegrates. So I also have been kind of thinking about starting a compost pile, um, but I have not gotten to that yet. So I don't know, we have options. Also update on the pigs. Um, we should be getting them hopefully this weekend or the next weekend. Um, I was talking to the guy and they're gonna be weaned just sometime this month. Right now it's April, it's middle of April. So they should be weaned by the end of the month. 
our pig shelter and enclosures done, Josh went ahead and um, rewired the whole thing because for some reason our electric stopped working. So he went ahead and put different wiring in there and we can make a separate video on that whenever we get our pigs. So um, we have that finished, which is great. Now, one of the other bigger projects that we're gonna be getting into is our meat chickens. They're coming in June. So in the next month and a half, we're gonna have to get on the roll with converting our pool house into a coop. And then we're going to add a run to the back of it. Um, that way then we can establish our regenerating flock. Since we didn't go with the Cornish cross, but we want something where we're not gonna have to continually have to buy chicks anymore. So if we, we got the, um, the red broilers and they're a dual purpose, so we're gonna be able to get eggs from them and we'll also be able to use them for meat as well, obviously. So our plan is I got 70 of them. So we're going to raise them up and we're going to keep probably about 10 hens and a rooster. And then we're going to call the rest of them, put them in freezer camp. Um, and then the rest of them, we're just gonna keep them to continue to rejuvenate our flock and grow them out so that we can have more chicken all year long. I also started seeds this year, which I did not do in the previous years, but we are doing something new other than the raised beds, which is, I'm so excited about, but we're also doing corn this year. So Josh is gonna rent a tractor and we're going to um, dig up, we have a fence line between us and the other property and we're going to put um, corn along that. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and finish my chores and I'm going to go collect the eggs. It's been about two days, I think, since I collected them. Um, I still come out and check my chickens every single day. I had made a video um, and someone thought that I don't check my chickens every day, but I do. Um, I don't need to. The way that our flock and our structure is, like our run and our coop and our feeding system and our water system, the way that everything's set up, that I, we don't have to check them every day. I still do. They're fun to be around. I get a lot of joy being around my chickens, so. Um, I do check them every day, don't worry. I make sure everyone's good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the eggs and I'm gonna put a little bit more straw in their coops. And then I think that's pretty much it. Just gonna go say hi to everyone again. Um, probably hold some chicks because that's so fun. Who doesn't like to hold chicks? Hi ladies, are you ready for some snacks? They know what the ice cream bucket means. Enjoy your snacks. Oops, I got some on the chicken. <laughs> oh, now everyone else saw currently have their coop open to kind of give them a little extra fresh air today. Well, I can tell a chicken was in here. They made a nest. Hello, I'm so sorry for disturbing you. Chickaletta, may I have your egg, please? No. Please? Oh, okay. I'll let her finish what she's doing. Anyway, here's a pile of eggs. There's a pile of eggs and a random one. I found the culprit. All right, I got my helper with me now. Let's go check this coop. How many eggs did you collect, buddy? Um, not many. How many is there? Um, 14. 14, wow, that's a lot of eggs. All right, buddy, how many do we have all together? Um, 50. 50 eggs, wow, that's a lot. Okay, so I just put straw in the chicken coops. Um, now I'm just gonna go ahead and add some of this diatomaceous earth. It's food grade. Um, that's gonna help with, you know, making sure that we don't get like bugs. Um, so I'm gonna spray that in. I'm gonna keep the coops open to kind of air it out because it's not good for the chicken's respiratory um, system. So I'm gonna go ahead and just leave their coops open to kind of air it out, but it's gonna help with like mites and lice and things like that from what I understand. I have one of these things. So you just like fill it up, hold it like this, and then you push the top and it just kind of like sprays out. Okay, so I'll just kind of demonstrate using this in this coop. So I just take this and I'm gonna push it down. So I'm just going to spray it pretty generously throughout the coop. Now there's no one in here right now. So I don't have to worry about them breathing it in. Now you don't want to bring the, breathe this in either and you don't want to get it in your eyes. But this is going to, it looks like I put it on pretty thick, but it's going to be fine, especially because I'm going to leave the doors open. So I'll leave this one open and then I'm just going to go ahead and open this side. I am not going to put it in with the chicks because they are in there and don't really have a way out. 
to have enough ventilation. I mean, I could keep it open like this, but I plan on building them another shelter soon. So I'm not really like worried about it. We don't really have any chickens that sleep in there at night, like before we put the chicks in there. So it's very clean. So awesome news, Josh just went and got some more cinder blocks like right down the road from us for free. They're not the same size, they're a little bit bigger, but they're free. So we'll find a use for them. It's just so cool because we aren't going for looks. We're just going for how can we save the most money and you know, still accomplish all of the goals that we have. Let's see how much bigger they are. Oh, 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 they're actually oh, oh. not that much bigger. That's oh. not a big deal at all. No, that's not bad. Especially when you just cover the inside with dirt. Now Josh went ahead and ordered some dirt too that we're going to have delivered. Five years ago, dirt was like $17 a scoop. Now it's $45 a scoop. Such a good helper, Willow. I am so impressed. They are turning out so good. We're gonna do one more over there. It's gonna go in the grass a little bit, but who cares? So we're gonna put, like Josh said, the grass clippings here and leaves and, and them, and then we're gonna put the mulch and the topsoil and mix it all together, so super excited. So we plan on contacting the guy that we got the cinder blocks for 60 cents. We're gonna contact him again and see if we can go pick up some more tomorrow to finish it off. We just need to do one more row. I need 55 more, but I'm gonna get probably 100. You need 55 more? Yeah, I can get 100 in the truck though, so. For we might as well have extra. We might as well get 40 extra. Especially because then we can do other things with them. So, exactly. yes, work harder, not smart. Work smarter, not harder. <laughs> Bye. So something I forgot to mention earlier about our new rabbits was that I was looking for a rabbit hutch off Facebook Marketplace and I found this one. It was a really awesome deal. I got it for like 200 bucks and it said everything included. So we get there to get this hutch and the rabbits were included and I was like, oh, but in the picture, this is the awkward part. Okay. So like in the picture, there was four rabbits and the listing was made like one month, like one month ago before I got the, the rabbits, right? And there was only two rabbits. I was like, oh, like you said that everything's included and now you're saying these rabbits are included. Wasn't there four? And they're like, oh yeah, they died. And then they went to, on to tell me this horror story about how they got like seven rabbits from an auction or something and how like all of them died, but two of them. And I was like, and then started telling me how they died. And I was just like, <sighs> so I'm not gonna lie, like I totally tuned them out because I was like, I don't wanna hear this. So did I rescue these bunnies? You can make that decision yourself. <laughs> but I got free rabbits out of it, which is pretty cool. All right, so it has been a very productive day today. So we are gonna go unwind and take our boat out and go have some really nice family time. beautiful day out today uh, we're just loving this weather and this is just a foreshadowing of what our spring and summer is gonna look like what was your favorite part of today buddy riding the boat riding the boat do you want to go again tomorrow no right now I want to go again tomorrow but I'm doing do it the rest you want to do it the rest of the week yep <laughs> Right, so it is becoming dusk. Thanks for your input. We're gonna go ahead and go close everything up. They hear the door open and they always come running out because they think we have food for them. Good night, chickies. I'm gonna make sure I count them, make sure everyone's there. Uh, okay, um, I'm really glad that I counted them because I'm not joking, one's missing. Oh my gosh, I literally found it. It's roosting in here. Little chick, how did you even get in here? Excuse me, Charlie. Hey, oh my gosh, it just pecked me. Oh, I'm too short for this. Okay, calm down. 
back to your coop oh you go. <sighs> oh, I'm going right. That literally startled me. I was so scared. I was like, Lord, help me find this chick. I don't want it to be gone. Oh. Okay, you need to go back with your friends. You're not old enough to integrate yet. Go back in. Okay, good night, everyone. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and close up the coops for the night. It has been a very eventful day. Good night, big mama. I feel like we learn lessons every single day and we are learning things that we can do and cannot do. So I have learned today not to trust leaving the burner open for them to have fresh air. All right, what an eventful day it's been. We got a lot accomplished today. So thanks for coming along with us as we did everything we did. Also, let us know what you're doing with your homestead this year. Is there anything new that you're doing? Have you started your garden yet? Are you doing chickens? Um, just let us know because we love reading the comments um, and we love to see, you know, what everyone else is doing. So we hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and enjoy the nice weather. Mm -hmm. Bye. Thanks for watching.